hello guys this is christian and you are welcome back to the don't have channel if you haven't joined this community yet then smash on the subscribe button and join this community in our last tutorial we were able to route between our index and our template so in this tutorial we are going to use mongoose to create some schemas for our to-do app all right guys so we are going to install another dependency called mongoose so let's go to our terminal new terminal and then type in npm install mongoose press enter so it's going to install our package for us All right, so once it's done installing, we are going to require it at the top here. So const mongoose require. We are requiring mongoose. And then right below where we used our body partial, we are going to connect our mongoose to a database which we are going to use mongodb so mongoose.connect for now let's leave it as an empty and then we are going to use new url partial so below it we will first create our item schema. So we are going to call it items schema. And it will have only one field, which is a name. And it's going to be a string. So once we are done creating our schema, let's create a model for it so const I'll call it item mongoose dot model then the model name is item we're going to use our item schema right. so now we are going to create three default items so the first one is going to be item one so item one then we are going to use our item model we've created then the name we are going to give it is welcome to the don't have community Let's create another one, which is item two. And that one, we are going to use the item module we created. That one, we are going to say hit on the plus button. Oh, sorry. to add item and the last one will be const item 3 and the one we are going to see hit on the check box to delete item All right so now I want us to save it in a default container so I'll call it default items and it's an array so we are going to store our item one 
item 2 then item 3 inside right so down below i want us to create another schema so list schema and that one is going to have two fields which is a string and then items In this field we are going to pass our default items here and then out of this list schema we are going to create another label called list so mongoose dot model and the name is list And we are going to give it the list schema. So now, what you've done is required the mongoose. And then we are trying to connect it to the backend server for which we'll be dealing with next. And then we created a schema which is going to store our items and then we created our model and through our model we created three default items item one item two and then item three and then down below we pass those items inside our default items and then we use it inside our list schema so now i want us to go to our web browser and then try to connect our backend database to our server so let's go to our web browser i want us to type mongodb so let's log in into our mongodb account so if you don't have an account just click on the google account it will create an account for you or you can use your github account to create one for yourself so i'll just use my google account all right so once it opens but for your information, if you're a new user to this account, just click on create to create your new cluster. So you just come down here. If you want, you can change the name and when you're done, just click on create. It will create a new one for you, for which I won't do because I already have. So once you're done creating yours, just come to connect and then go to connect it to your application so here you have to select node.js then the version 2 so you have to just copy this and then go back to your code editor paste it here so now it's requesting for your user name and then password for which i'm going to use my i will now go to database access i'm going to create a new database user i'm going to call it don't have then i'll give a password as test one two three right so after this i will delete everything don't try to hack or something so just add user and we go back to our code editor and our username we are going to type don't have and then the password 
is going to be test one two three four all right guys so we've been able to create our schemas and also connect our backend database to our server in our next tutorial we are going to create a front end template for our to do app thank you don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't and join this community